All right, it's good afternoon. So we did just have a new loading screen pop up because we have a new event and some new things happening. So we have the Halloween event coming at midnight tonight, which will be only a couple hours from now when said video is released. We also have another season of Charge Collection event, which they are releasing two skins, which we'll talk about right here. Both of them are for limited time heroes too, so it's very unlikely you're going to get lucky enough to get both a origin crystal and a jewel. So, origin jewel and then the other crystal. But anyways, Deathstorm, so he's the dragon gentleman, uh, ghost armor. Using the limited skin allows death growls um, ultimate skill to summon imps, surrounding causing AoE damage to enemies. So whenever he activates his ultimates, it will cause, like, I'm guessing the imps to surround an enemy and explode. So if that's the case, it'd be looking really good. We have Scourge Lords Halloween skin, also a limited skin. Allows Scourge Lords <coughs> ultimate skill to summon evil pumpkin and smash enemies, causing damage and stunning them. Any stun effect is always good. And um, from what I've seen, he's used in a lot of top tier teams, so he should be good. We have the following polychromes added into the game. Windmaster Ocean Princess, Evil Rabbits, Vanguard Warrior, Death Mage, and Mechanist. All into the polychrome, out of all the ones we currently have there, I only have Death Mage, so I will be using Death Mage. Hopefully leveling up to have an additional 4,000 power, so she should be viable for Ultimate Ward Boss. I'm sorry, Elite Ward Boss. Now we also have new artifacts for Cemetery Warden, Queen of Misfortune, Spirit of Wind, Chaos Doctor, Chaplain, and Tea Master, because I'm not pronouncing that first part, because I'll butcher it. Now, we wish I could look at all these artifacts right now. Unfortunately, I could not find it in my artifact shop, so let's go straight to Chaplain. Where is she? She has the artifact where she stuns nearby enemies when she's casting ultimate. That's always really good. Then one of the other heroes they added was... Actually, we could go here to the Hephaestus Forge. If we go all the way down, I'll show the heroes we do not currently have. So, Course Whip, this is for Queen of Misfortune, which will be making a video coming up. Or well, actually, we could do this video, why not? So, it makes her immune to damage after three, for 3 seconds after receiving 20% of maximum HP in a certain amount of time. So, it's definitely good considering how her kit works. So yes, it's going to make her a lot more deadly for sure. Chaos Doctor ignores um, ah, enemy's magic resistance by 10% from casting ultimates. The other win. Oh, he actually causes the enemy to lose 0.4% of their max HP per second while damaging them. Really good because she deals a lot of damage even without that. And then Team Master ignores. Well, that's going to be actually really good. They're ignoring as well. And then, yes, all the other ones we can... Oh. Yeah, no. Okay. Alrighty. Well, as I said, we might as well talk about Queen of Misfortune. Now, her whole kit is... Like... It's interesting. Because it's one of a kind, from what I know. Well, in terms of how her ultimate works. Oh, wait, no. What am I saying? Because Jungle Boy has something that's similar. Because of his jungle spirits, but at the same time, when she first came out, she was very unique. Let's put it that way. Not anymore. I forgot about Jungle Boy. Anyways, Queen of Misfortune, Extreme Insanity. I do not have Sac Whips a whips enemies and deals area damage. Each ultimate casting increases the damage of the next one, so it keeps bumping it up. So that's really good. Dark Ceremony, Sacrabas deals damage multiple times and restores HP based on the damage she has dealt, so really good. Misfortune, she turns into a, cro a crowd of ravens to attack an enemy, which, doing which she cannot be harmed, so she has a immunity phase, so that's really good. And then Brutal Heart, this is her passive, it increases her intellect and grants her the ability of magic lifesteal. The only other person that can grant magic lifesteal is Royal Detective. 
Now we talked about a skin. Pink Temptation. Using the Tango skin allows Pink Temptation to activate Temptation effect. To, uh, so she can teleport to the furthest enemy. Oh no, 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 wait. It's the other way, bloody. They were coming to her, so that's really good. Alright, let's awaken her. As we can see here. Didn't even look at her stats beforehand, but it's fine. Now she gains quite a bit of magic crits. Ignore magic resistance right there. Oh, she, oh my god, she's jumping like crazy. I just realized how her stats are. She's definitely going to be strong. 14,000 magic power. She has 15% life steal rating. I don't have her trained up yet, but she still survives. And there we go. Even more. Ignore magic resistance. And then the final one that we should get to, to right now. Okay, now we have Queen of Misfortune level 3, 15,000 magic power, 75,000 HP, not a lot of, she's kind of flimsy from her tech, can see, but remember her casting of her ultimate keeps going up and up, so we shall go over to here, oh, what are we saying, we don't want to buy her skin, not until it goes on sale if anything, first we shall test it. Sorry, my voice just constantly changes, and I don't really like it, but, you know, I'll stick with this one for now. And, uh, try a card, using Queen of Misfortune for three days. So, let's go take a look at her, wherever she might be. There she is. Alrighty, okay, let's go to War of Guards. Apologies, I did not think about what I was going to do for that, but you know, it's fine. So I was thinking about it, we could use her in damage testing to see how much she has increased. Because before, she would be part of one of the highest damage dealing teams I have. So that's Ice Mage, I mean not Ice Mage, um, Emerald Mage is on that team, so she deals a lot of damage. And I was, we'll have to make a video on Emerald Mage and how I have her set up, because She's doing wonders for me. Currently there is some people in my server that are like 118 and they are bullying me constantly. But I've been able to beat them back a few times. We keep trading blows. But when I reach their level for sure it's not going to be a fair fight. Now I think she falls under the category of mage still, correct? Yes she does. We should activate you. We're going to grant her as much support as we can get. So I think we're either going to go with Neverbilly Lady or Minstrel. Unfortunately, I don't have Minstrel leveled up, so... And I don't have him awakened. Not yet. But it's fine. Talked about the new update. We will talk about going in all depth in the Halloween event tomorrow. That is not a fair fight. You can take it. Yeah, 147. Maybe someday. We're trying to test a new hero. Well, a hero that not a lot of people have, I should say. She's an older hero, but she just got a new skin. So, let's test that. I feel like the best way to test her is what we could have saved when we got her artifact, but it's fine. Because definitely she will survive a lot longer with the artifact. She'll be able to pop off from ultimates, cause a lot more mayhem. Hmm, let's see. What are you going to throw at us? You know what? We can deal with you. We should go. You, you. You. Oh, I didn't like that. You know, where is she? There. And marksman for Night Ranger. And we shall utilize if possible. We shall try using <coughs> Chaplain. I think Chaplain. Then Emerald May. Oh, no. We use Void Master. We don't know if we'll win this or not, so. Might as well have something that can change the tide of battle very fast if possible. Because this gentleman is definitely higher level than me. 
because he has his artifacts all the way to level 100. And he spent all of his resources to spare swordsman, it seems, in terms of his getting his skin and all that, so. Oh, they threw a uh, shadow leaf at me. Fun. You know, I don't ever see shadow leaf anymore. She has a really good skin, but she doesn't deal as much damage as she once did. Still really good support, though. Really good for the feline female heroes. Alright. See here. No, no, yeah, no, we lost. It's fine. It happens. Kind of what happens when they have really high artifacts, though. <laughs> because if they didn't, we would probably have won that. Well, who knows? I had really good shutdown, so did he, so he can take the win. I'm not going to throw everything at him. I could, but what's the point? Because most people leave when they see an Iron Hoof, or most people leave when they see an Emerald Mage. I mean, Emerald Mage, yeah. Really good combination. But, sad. As we see, did see though, ultimate did go off. She did. And as you can see, we are waiting currently for Queen of Misfortune. She is the one who we picked. We are currently waiting for our opponents. We did lose that last battle, but it's fine because. Oh, well, there's plenty of other battles, right? Many wars to be fought. Victories to be had. Okay, we shall go. Hmm. My gosh, not yeah. The Christmas battle is about to begin. Let the rain begin. We should do you, you. Why the hell do you just? Yeah, I'm not fighting someone that's high level like that. Is there only one hero past level 10? Until I get heroes past level 10, more than that, I'm not going to fight anyone that has that because it's not even a fair fight. Because I guarantee you he has that MMH level 20. Or something high like that. It would not be a fair fight, not a little bit. Okay, if they want to pick something that's not ridiculous, you know what? Enough of that. Silly business. Maybe we should have switch up one of these teams to switch in and win. Queen of Miss Virgin, let's see how she does. Night Ranger is not expecting what I forgot expected of him because he's just too frail he's a glass cannon because yes when he gets his ultimate off and he's dealing with magic dealers he can kill them but if there's a spell swordsman on the enemy team they will kill him Sorry, I'm not really talking because I'm just focusing. <clears throat> I got thoughts in my head to think about. Because currently, my job, I make quite a bit of money, but if I can get the position I am currently going for, I'll make almost double what I make now. So that's going to be very nice. Alright, let's see how Queen Misfortune does. There's her dealing her area damage. Now, as you can see, the clone, or is that the clone? No, that's actually Shadow Leaf. 
she walked right up to Queen of Misfortune. As you can see, Queen of Misfortune is doing quite a lot of damage. That's actually really good. Oh yeah, no, I can actually see Queen of Misfortune doing really good. She wasn't doing really good in War of Gods, but that's because people are just so much more than I am right now. But it's fine. Yeah, let's go over to Boss War. Let's auto fight, because she's already on a really strong team. Let's see if that team gets me number one again. There we go. Where is she about? Mage, do 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 do, where, there she is. I actually need to switch up this team at some point, because this is a very strong team, because there's Queen of Dragons and, I mean, Emerald Mage, right? Yeah. As you can see, oh look, yeah, look at her, she's actually surviving quite a bit. You can see that they're dealing a lot of damage, they keep knocking them back, which is just amazing. Because it lets all of those gunners in the back, it just keep stunning him and knocking him back, it's so great. Oh yeah, no, look at that, that is actually a crazy strong team. Wow, I'm a bit surprised by that, like look at that. Already bumping up that damage like that, and he just keeps getting knocked back. He keeps getting hit by the temptation effect. The only thing that was going to stop is his time. As you can see, she's dealing quite a bit of damage. Staying alive. He's currently immune to control effects, because that's how Mashless Timeless Kid is. They are dealing quite a lot of damage. Oh yeah, no. That is definitely more surprising than I thought. <clears throat> Pretty good though. Actually, out of that whole teams, let's see who had the most. Yeah, it was that team. They did the most. They actually outclassed my my ninja assassin now. Oh, what is me? Okay, let's go back into battle. Maybe this is gonna be a fun team to fight against. Sorry. It's going to be interesting to say the least. Because I do like how Queen of Misfortune's kit works. If you pair her up with someone like Starship commando she can do quite a lot she could make a video on actually no i don't have him awakened yet he'll be coming up and there goes fist of annihilation everyone gets back up to full health or at least quite a lot of health <clears throat> that's why should put him under sleep in a little bit nope we got hit by that's very annoying time, Soldier. Now we get hit by Windmaster. There we go. And now we won. Yeah, because Shadowleaf cannot 1v1 like that. Rest of them, so. Sucks to be him. Alright, this is the next team with Queen of Misfortune. Now, if she can tempt people any time, that's actually really strong. If she can force those back, back row damage dealers to uh, come forward and then die. Oh no, she did die. It's fine though, we won. Yeah, there's literally nothing they can do against my emerald mage, emerald mage and ice mage combo. Ice mage, emerald mage, my brain just keeps saying emerald, but it's fine. They're both really strong. They're going to do grand arena. Oh, I hate when it does this. 
because then it messes up my audio and I hate it so much. There we go. I think it gives me a loss for that, right? No, it gave me the win. Okay. We're going to be also leveling up Chaos Doctor coming up. <sighs> that mode, I mean, Queen of Misfortune is doing a little better than I expected, so. I like that team a lot. <laughs> team is very strong and very good at what they do. I could switch out Ember Star for Ice Mage, and that would definitely make that last team I have very strong. Oh no, she's gonna die. It's fine though. Emerald and Ice Mage can deal with this. Ice Mage is probably going to kill everyone right here. When she wakes up, of course. And there goes everyone. Yeah. She just deals so much damage. <clears throat> okay, let's find someone that's more close to my level. This should I mention do. Oh, that's annoying. You know what? We're gonna switch out Ice Mage, put you here, and put Monster Hunter on the team. Actually, no. Take you out. You back. Oh, they're in front of each other. Hmm, that's not good. Oh, then we'll do what we had originally. Oh no, just a bunch of random madness, isn't it? <laughs> and there we go. Everyone else is going to die right here because of Queen of Sea Dragon. When Hercules is spinning his ball right there, he makes himself physically immune, so he's going to tank all of that for my team, so they don't die. But unfortunately, they can't tank another one. Oh, they can, because I forgot Mome Totem increases their dodge rate greatly. So that's going to be really good. Yep, there we go. Let's see this final team. Got to find a team that's strong enough to handle this. Hand of supporting, I mean. But she keeps dying, so I'm talking in my head. Huh. It's a very good shutdown team because there's a lot of stun. And they killed Queen of Misfortune again because I don't have her trained up and I don't have her um, with her wounds up at all, so. Oh, that's actually pretty smart using zombies. I mean, blood cyborg with um, invis because now he's staying alive. Now oh, that's annoying. That team is annoying because it's so good at stunning. Yes, I can deal a lot of damage here, but will I be able to survive it? Then, uh, I should be fine. Actually, no, I can still get stun locked. What am I saying? And yeah, now. Okay, come on. Yeah, no, we lost. We got stun locked. It's fine. That's a very annoying team to deal with because they're just constant stunning. And we lost Queen of Misfortune too early, but it's fine. time.
tapping a pen on the table. Yeah, no, his last team just gets massacred by mine. And when we get Harbod Master with his skin, he's going to definitely be deadly. Because I still don't actually have his skin yet. But I'm going to be a crazy 